Okay, this is the actual composting toilet. What you saw before was just the chute from the toilet up above, you know, like the indoor outhouse seat that goes down to this, but the, this is the composter itself. This is an airtight enclosure that's connected up to the exhaust side of that, of the heat recovery ventilator that we were just talking about. And that way that keeps this entire enclosure negative pressure so that it, all the odors go out rather than come in. So I'll roll up, I'll open this lid here to it and we can look at what's inside of it and how it works. Okay, what we have here is a rotating turntable, just plywood with some casters on it that rotates. And it's got three 55 gallon drums. These are just used 55 gallon drums. Cut the heads out of them and put some baffles in here that's this is for aeration. I'll remove this. You can see what goes into it. This is just cut from plastic sheet material, pipe fittings, piece of pipe, drilled holes in it. And so this provides aeration. And then the drum itself has a just a hole in the bottom drilled with a flange. Let you put a standpipe in there so that it maintains the water level below this this baffle plate here. So this whole thing is something that anybody can build with with the right plants in a weekend or two. Then you have three of these identical barrels that rotate around here. The bottom of that chute there is what you saw looking down through the hole in the seat, toilet seat from up above. So the way it works is that you rotate it, you have one drum under the chute, and it maybe takes six months maybe for two people to pretty well fill up one drum. And then when that gets full, you rotate it one third, and you put the second drum under it, you add earthworms to the first one and let it age. And that you can also put vegetable scraps down it. And then six months later, you rotate it another third, so that by the time the first one comes around, it's fully composted, and you take it out and you can put it on your garden. I wouldn't put it on vegetable crops, but you can put it on your trees or on your, your flowers and non-edible plants.